So tritone is a pretty good way to add an overall color and you throw that on there and combine it with some other things like curves and uh, some other effects that I'm going to show you and you can have some cool looking results and when you show like a client a before and after picture like this they're like oh man that's awesome so use a uh, tritone a lot to your advantage so let's check out what happens when uh, we mess with highlights so let me turn this back on and I'll mess with the highlights and I can make the highlights darker if I wanted to now they're all like grayed out and uh, junky looking so that's not really what we want so I'm bringing this down check out the H here in the middle and then these lights as I scrub around on the highlights you can see they're dulling out and now they're brighter or I can make them like a different kind of color if I, if I really wanted to so I'm gonna keep them at this because I darkened the scene by adding this darker kind of blue so let's check into the shadows here and the shadows will be like the stuff here in the background um, these tires will be darker it doesn't necessarily it doesn't mean like the actual shadow that's being cast it just means darkers darker areas and when you mess with that it kind of messes with the whole entire thing in this shot so messing with the around with the shadows isn't going to help you too much in this shot but in other shots it may so keep that in mind so that's a uh, that's tritone now let's come up to a new one we can come to effect color correction and then we'll come down here to hue and saturation and we can also desaturate and saturate the uh, video footage here by moving this master saturation we can go all the way to black and white so this is how you make black and white footage just moving it all the way to the left of the saturation and then we can like add a bunch more saturation if we wanted to this is what happens when you add way too much it looks like crap but just uh, if you're adding a little saturation just don't go too crazy with it we've got the lightness here and uh, that just basically brightens things up or darkens things based on the uh, hue and saturation values now we've got this master hue here where we can um, change the different uh, colors of what's going on sometimes it works well but most of the time it just like blasts out color so let me uh, change this around and you can see how things work with that now if we have something that's um, one plain color and we want to basically make a diff different color we can click on this colorize button and mess with the uh, hue down here to bring up new colors so it pretty much colorizes the entire thing and uh, we got our saturation here to make it even d brighter or darker depending on what you want and same thing with the lightness it'll make it brighter or darker so this will like colorize anything I can show you that real quick on like just a regular uh, layer so layer new solid and I'll just make it something like that we're gonna add an effect um, where's color correction there it is hue saturation and if we colorize this we can just change the color of our solid so that's how you can change colors easily if you want to and then you can also keyframe that to uh, change colors also so I don't need this anymore because I'm done showing you that part so I'll turn that off now we've got another one that we can use let me click on my layer effect color correction and this one is called levels the levels uses a histogram here to uh, increase or decrease the black and white values on the on the actual footage here so if I 
take anything from th the slider here and this histogram here work kind of the same um, on the histogram here you got your black here on the left and if I move that in it's gonna make everything darker and then we've got our lights over here our highlights and if I move that in it's gonna make everything brighter then in the middle we've got our grays and uh, that'll uh, affect how gray how the grays are uh, um, affected and how bright and dark they are the same with this slider here so this is the output here on the bottom so this is the output white and output black so if you look down here on the uh, in the effects panel where it says output black and output white when I move this it's going to affect the output white and when I move this one it's going to affect the output black or you can just manually type them in when I move the stuff in the histogram it's going to affect the input black input white and in the middle this is actually the gamma but um, I always called it the grays gamma and grays so pretty much the same thing going on there so use those to um, affect the different uh, like the lightness and the darkness of everything that's going on so we can also come into the channels and take out like red if we wanted to or make things mo even more red so this way it takes out the red so we have no red anymore but this is kinda like uh, using curves but it's also just it's kinda like another interface for using curves so you can use curves and levels kind of interchangeably and they uh, pretty much produce out the same kind of effects so let me check up here and see if there's any more effects that I want to show you color correction um, tint we can uh, use tint here and we can affect the amount here um, the the white values which are the brighter things we can change those to a different type of color so let's go back into the blues now we can add a tint onto this now the blacks we can make them a, like grayer if we want and then you want to this is just like the blend with the original and then you can just blend it in to give the an overall tint looking feel so those are the main these are the main color correction tools that I like using and um, I'll go over some of the other color correction tools I don't know them as well but um, pretty much they'll these are your five tools that are the best for using color correction within After Effects CS6 at least now there's other third-party plugins that you can use but I'm not gonna go over them until maybe like way later on I'm just gonna try to teach you how to do everything in After Effects without plugins so thanks for watching this one we've gone over a few ways to co uh, use color correction and uh, pretty much that's it so thanks for watching and thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, liked everything so have a good one everybody see you later